censorship. I don't like doing videos twice, and I talked for eight minutes last time, and damn camera went off, and then I looked and noticed there's no microphone, so I'm not going to go here too much. Um, I just want to say a few things about this right here. Now, YouTube needs censorship. No, YouTube needs a barrier. They need to separate the children from the adults. And they need not have hardcore porn. Um, that makes no sense. Um, if you can show somebody's ass crack and um, booty all up in the camera, I don't see why you shouldn't be able to show breasts. But listen to what I'm saying here. It's not about sex selling. It's not about getting hits or videos. But if you want a true adult world without having all the sick sexuality, um, then there'd have to be some concessions. And I truly believe that if you can show somebody ass crack the way they do and booties jiggling and women in, in bathing suits where the only thing you can't see is the stuff that you shouldn't be able to see, you might as well show it because it's damn near can see it anyway. But, let me get back to what I said at the beginning anyway. There are little kids on this site. Therefore, there's children on the site. You don't need to see any breasts. But these kids can type in um, female breast examination and get a giggle off some boobs. If it was like that. I remember when I was growing up, most of the kids I knew had only seen breasts in the National Geographics. And that was the white kids too. Okay? So um, when you look at the same pictures and think what is truly censorship, what you think is okay may not be okay for me. What if there comes a time where no one likes people who wears glasses? What if they say, you know what, you wear glasses and um, you, know, you shouldn't be on YouTube because when you uh, look into the camera, we can see the video screen sometimes and that's not right for good videos. So... Uh, you know, people who wear glasses can't wear their glasses in the videos. Then what if they decide, you know, um, uh, certain groups of uh, blacks and young whites are, you know, like outrageous. So, um, you know, maybe we shouldn't have an, um, uh, young black people doing any videos on YouTube and young white folks doing videos on YouTube. Um, all that boxing and fighting and um, it's just too violent no can't show young kids or um, you know, teenagers on YouTube well somebody decided that for you what if somebody decided um, to only show partnered videos so um, in order for you to be seen you have to be a partner and non-partners wouldn't get any play it's like a tryout first. Oh, well, you did a 50 video tryout, you're done. Um, you're not what YouTube is looking for. You're out of here. Um, I know you mentioned porn in your video, and that has no place on YouTube because there's kids on this channel. And um, because kids watch YouTube, and kids do a lot of videos, if you separate the kids from the adults, content would change dramatically um, and people deserve to see what they want to see but YouTube owns YouTube we don't own YouTube but if you want to see people putting porno up and adult stuff like that then they have other sites for that just like YouTube you put your own porno stuff up right on the internet you can find adult stuff on the internet easy without having to even go anywhere near YouTube you can type in YouTube wrong and get some porno stuff um, the problem with censorship is the censorship that we're going to get will not be the censorship in which you think the censorship you're gonna get is, might be based on HR 155 where freedom of expression could be considered as a terrorist act. In other words, 
I could say, you know, the United States government would be a heck of a lot better if they gave everybody, you know, $3,000 for a stimulus package. That's trying to sway the government or change the government. Therefore, that statement in itself is a terrorist act. Is that the kind of, you know, is that the kind of censorship you want? Where you can talk about, you know, the police in my town beat up some guy, da da da, blah 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 blah, and that is a terrorist act. Everything you say can and will be used against you out of context based on censorship. Let me take it one more step further. If you like redhead women, and I like brunettes, and all these other people like blondes, and they decided, you know, women on YouTube should only be blonde. And all of a sudden, you know, you might look at uh, Susie Red Hair's video and think, oh, Susie Red is pretty cool. All of a sudden, you can't watch that because someone else decided that her red hair is not what they wanted. See, YouTube is privately owned, apparently. I don't know. I don't own it. But I do put videos out on it, just like you do, apparently. So, by them censoring themselves is a good thing. Because there are grown-ups mingling with kids. And there are kids mingling with uh, grown-ups. And the lines are blurred. This is not some weird pagan holiday where you just grab a kid and go have fun for the weekend. Doesn't work like that. Life itself is a lot more fickle than what we think it is. Censorship. What kind of censorship? What will censorship lead to? What I want to say next is real quick because I only got like a minute and a half or so to say it. What if um, some lawmaker put on the ballot that all men need to be gelded at a certain age? And, you know, it was on a ballot, actually physical ballot where we go out and vote to see if men's things get cut off. How would you vote? Would you pack up your bags and head to Canada? Would you try to go down to Mexico and leave if the election came out the wrong way? What if a group of people decided to tell you to think a certain way? And if you decided that you decided, if you decided that you want to think for yourself, that that would be construed as illegal. That's what censorship can lead to. So if we want to make YouTube a better place, we either play by the rules of YouTube or we put forth barriers. In other words, let's tell YouTube how to make this better so kids won't be getting hit on by grown-ass men. And so little girls won't be trying to tease a guy because they say, oh, I think you look cute in the video. What if we told YouTube how to govern itself because we are the people of YouTube? Instead of letting them censor us based on a bunch of people deciding to flag videos, think of this. If I had a thousand people watch me every day and I didn't like you I mean I don't like you all I have to do is say for those people who make bad comments on our page we should just go flag them and then what would happen if over the course of a week you had 50,000 flags you'd be gone and that's pitiful that my friend is censorship I think that we don't need censorship unless we want to buy and create our own YouTube so we can earn our own revenue from our own videos, then we need to play by the rules set forth by YouTube. So in saying that, I'm going to take up a donation to buy my own video web server and call it Our World. And as soon as somebody puts some porn on there, I'm kicking their ass smooth up off of it. Because some places need not show things. We don't need to see porn on YouTube. But if they want to change and censor YouTube, put us all in different categories and let us be. And you've been tubed.